Hey there, so today we have a blind beers and Katie has picked the beer, has put it under this cup. I have no clue what it is and I'm going to try to guess what this beer is. So uh, this has uh, been a pretty interesting one. I uh, had a bunch of, uh, you know, uh, wrenches thrown in there. Uh, it was <laughs> on and off-ish with some of them, but uh, let's, this is by far the darkest one of them so far. So uh, this beer comes in what a kind of like a... Um, Almost like a raspberry juice, cherry juice color. Yeah. I don't even know how to describe a little bit that. Like a uh, light brownish kind of copper copper hue to it. Uh, it has this little bit of light tan head to it. What is that? <laughs> it smells oxidized. I, I, have, I have tried my best to challenge Darwin. It's a little bit multi, a little bit of this kind of like light light uh, cocoa chocolate flavor. Is it oxidized? No. Oh, 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 this smells a little hoppy too. So we picked up all these beers actually. Um, so like we recently moved to like a super rural area. And we picked all of these beers up at IPA, or I'm sorry, at IGA. They have their own, um, they have their own, uh, pick your own six pack. Mm -hmm. So it was, it was kind of interesting to see that they have like a, a small selection of craft beers and everything that I found was actually like not out of date. So yeah, so I'm going to take cool. that back. I'm going to say it's not oxidized. A little bit of pineiness to it, a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of a light grapefruit quality, a little bit, uh, a good amount of just kind of like, um. Uh, woodsy weed dank thing. Just a little bit of like sweetness there. Mm -hmm. Kind of like a bread crusty kind of sweetness. Okay. So unfortunately, I got to take a glance at. Um... Mm -hmm. It was very medicinal in the back end. Have to take might a be glance at what? At the cooler, so I might have a guess at what it's possibly. Mm. It's very medicinal. A lot of it's kind of like. Um, Right, root flavor uh, dancing in there. I actually don't think I know what it is. Um, I actually like this one. This is it's pretty a good. A little bit of bitterness to it. It has a rounded malt character, a little bit of uh, brandiness, uh, light bread crust character. Um, decently bitter. Very herbal though. Mm -hmm. I like that. It tastes like dried roots. Um, I mean, A little bit of spiciness to it, and that actually might be the bottle that I saw in the fridge, even though she picked it out and I walked away from the market. Um, <laughs> this might be Sierra Nevada's Ruthless Rye. So, um, otherwise, it's some kind of older hoppy beer. Um, they were taking on like a red IP or something, but uh, not extremely hoppy. So, and for the ABV, uh, 72%. 7%. So I will say you had one part, one detail right. What? Ooh. It is a Sierra Nevada. Oh, it's not Ruthless Rye. This is the flip side red IPA. Did I say red IPA? No. You said uh, something else. I don't remember. Oh, rye. Okay. So you did say red IPA at one point. I did. But, um, yeah. Too happy to be am Amber Ale. Quite happy. Uh, this was bottled uh, two months ago, right? So uh, a little bit oxidized. Yeah, it doesn't have uh, really the hot character that you're quite looking for, but uh, quite good though. And, and it even says like, like sweet malt body and citrusy and tropical hops. Yeah. And none of that is in this. That's that. I think the oxidation is with that kind of medicinal thing I was talking about. It's like just paper, it's just brown mm -hmm. bags, and just dry. Let's see the ABV on this bad boy. I guess seven. Six point two. So okay. you were very close. I was one eight fully off. I thought you said six. I said seven. seven two. Oh, never mind. So yeah, uh, pretty interesting. Um, get this one fresh because this is definitely it's so crazy though. Like two months in, we found this in the fridge section, but still, it's like devoid of hop character. If I, a bit can, of if I can even just describe the area that we live in, like there's like three thousand people in this city, so it's very tiny. So to find like they have such a nice fresh selection of beer was actually pretty refreshing. So I think you go to a lot of the, the bigger cities, like, you know, even Sanford, which isn't huge. And like going to a lot of the beer stores there, so many things were out of date, but yeah. like everything that I picked up was like within a reasonable packaging date. So they're probably, they're probably pretty, pretty smart about ordering. Cause like, cause yeah. you could see it on the shelf. And, and that's one of the things that I, I think a lot of places need to do more is that they just have skinny shelves. Yeah. You know, like the last thing you want is to over order beer and have it sit there and get old. Yeah. This way, like you sell through the product and then you can actually, you know, um, keep beer fresh. And I think that's partially what they do. Like they buy some beer, 
some that gets broken up so you can pick singles of and then mm-hmm. the rest they sell yep. um, out of the case. So, um, you know, not ideal what this is right now. Uh, could be fresher and could taste, uh, would definitely taste different, I suspect, because like this is probably not what it should taste like. But uh, for red IPA, eh, it's all right. Yeah. I actually like it like this. I think this is really good. Um, See, I'm about to make like solid, solid, solid. Yeah, I like that nature taste. Like, you know, yeah. this tastes like a walk in the woods, if that makes any yeah. sense. But even then, it's oxidized and, and, and tastes um, pretty well. Good. It says, uh, uh, features just enough smooth and slightly sweet malt body. True. Uh, supported by huge citrusy and tropical fruit forward hops. None of that. I get the so. citrusy. Yeah, I just get like dank and dry. So, mm-hmm. uh, until next time, guys. Cheers. Thank you so much for enjoying these wine beers. Later.